So we had a bit of a wet day out as well this week. Yeah, but it was a really fun wet day out. A dragging out on a nice morning. A little day out in this bad boy. Where did you rob this from? This is my dad's. Okay. But don't tell him. Not only did my plan of getting the camper van out on the road come off. I it, it was good. It was a good plan. A bit of, over there. Am I up the mountains? Because I've been put on to a contact in the mountains who grows mushrooms. Mushrooms. We're crossing the bridge. So we're going to cross the bridge. We're going to be brave. We're going to do it. Get the passports ready. And we're going to find some mushrooms and you're going to cook some lunch. And that's exactly why I've been woken up early. You love you cooking? Find mushrooms so I can cook. We got the camper van. We went into Beth Gellert. Yes. Just past Beth Gellert and more to Kunan Mushrooms. Um, could you possibly tell us where we are today? Yes, well we're here at what we call the Mushroom Garden. So Kunan is a mad scientist, would he be happy with that? He's a mad scientist. Farmer. Slash. Farmer. Slash. Mushroom grower. He's so passionate about his, his job and what he can offer that it's, it's, it's absolutely rewarding to I sit there thought... for two hours and, and listen. As you know we grow the shiitake and oyster mushrooms. And we grow them in those converted shipping containers. We so are you growing uh, mushrooms all year round then? All year round, yeah. Yeah, we have this turkey and oyster mushrooms every morning, every night. What we do really is get inside the mushroom's head, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Cheat it. <laughs> make, make it think winter's coming every I day. I do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> I've always yeah. preached about this. You know, we're yeah. very good in Wales at growing primary stuff. Yeah. You know, like just lamb and beef. But then it's all been going away and somebody else adding value to it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like, you know, the muscles going yeah. from from the Menai Straits. Yeah. So let's add the value to, to the stuff here. Yeah. So that, that makes a small business like us, a family business viable. Well, I think we, we relate a lot with our, our customers, um, really, taking interest in where we're sourcing from, yeah. why yeah. we're sourcing from different areas. When you get to know the supplier and you get to know what you're cooking with, yeah. you feel so much more confident when you're cooking, but you, you feel a lot more satisfied once you made the dish. Yeah. And when the customers say, that was nice, and you go, well, that was from your mate over yeah, there. Yeah. No? If we're going in the growing room, so you'll have to kit up oh, with some white coats. Yeah, love all that. And we'll uh, get some, uh, we'll cover these locks yeah, up. Get the, the Barry locks <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he introduced us to his containers. It really grows his mushrooms yeah. are all inside, and he grows them in such like a kind of systematic yeah. way. That's that's nice. Oh, that is nice to warm, yeah. This is how the whole thing starts. Yeah. This is uh, a bag of oak, chip, and sawdust gets put in this bag and then into a massive pressure cooker. It just takes the temperature up to kill off all the other um, yeah, yeah. all the other fungi and bacteria and stuff. And then in a small laboratory it's inoculated with the shiitake the yeah. mushroom spawn. And this is about three weeks old and you can yeah. see already the, the mycelium, which is the food gathering body of the yeah. mushrooms, is eating away yeah. the wood chip. These have been here eight weeks. It's, it's, it's created a, yeah. um, a, a crust. Yeah. And you can see lumps and bumps and cracks in the, in the crust and all those tiny little mushrooms waiting to go. So they will eventually fruit but here it's nice and warm, still got plenty of food. Yeah, yeah. So again, getting inside the head. Why, why waste energy on creating mushrooms until you have to? Yeah, yeah. We sort of stress them a little bit by taking them next door where it's damp, yeah. and cool and um, taking them out the bag and then they think, wow, lots of yeah, yeah, yeah. bang, they start popping. And again, like the oysters, you don't expect them to be grown like that, do you? No, you just don't think that's how you uh, grow mushrooms. It's, it's, it's that kind of natural yeah. product which is managed, but it's not interfered with. They're still doing what they're meant to be doing. It's an interesting stuff that's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit passionate about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of an obsession. <laughs> we'll go next door, yeah. and before you go, Oh, we look cool now, aren't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you look a lot better than what we do, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been I've done duped. this before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, this is where all the fun happens. <laughs> oh, cool, look at this. Now, you remember that block we had with all the little cracks and lumps in it? Yeah. Well, this is how it looks after being in here for a couple of days. See all the little cracks are yeah. bursting out with little baby shiitake mushrooms. So, four or five days. They're like this. So these are ready to harvest. I should have harvested these last night because you were special people coming here. <laughs> <laughs> the time to harvest them is just before the cap opens fully. Yeah. 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 So these ready to go, like all those there as well. Look great, don't they? What are you going to cook up for us? I don't know. I've got, I've got some. I've got some stuff in the in the uh, in the camper van. What's your favourite thing to cook with the mushrooms? 
Yes. Yeah. Is that yes. what we're gonna do? Hey! Yeah. And see which ones are ready, because some of these aren't yeah. ready. And just snip them <laughs> close to the block as you can. I, I'm surprised by just the sheer volume of mushrooms oh, on here. Yeah. Trying to get the best ones here. Well, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he took us on a journey. This is how much he cares. He wants to make sure his business has longevity. And he's tried to find ways of making his product sustainable so that it's got shelf life. And it takes us on a little adventure to the back of his house where he's got this great little setup. We're just following Kinan. Set up this film at the back of his house. And this is his lab. Just raining up just to show us the mushrooms themselves. Yeah. So he wanted to yeah, show so us this whole outfit. Where we sort of add value to stuff. They yeah. dehydrate these mushrooms, which the concentration is amazing. You you lift the lid on that mushroom tub while he's dehydrated, and you're left with like an aroma of savoury sweet. It's like a roasted candy, nutty, nutty. candy. This is the, the, the mainstay of our, our business, is to actually dry them. Let's do the stuff with them. Yeah. So that's that's the packaging for the dried oysters and shiitake. And then over the years, I've had so many people in the trade shows and food shows saying, oh, I don't like mushrooms. Yeah. If you ask them why, they always say the same thing, texture. Yeah, yeah. They don't like the texture. So we thought, how can we have all the taste and then the texture? And that's where we yeah. get the shiitake powder. You know, it's to be added into food. Yeah. It really is just like a stock thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, um, I was lovely, yeah. it is, it is nutty, isn't it? It's really it nutty. Is, yeah. like, Toasted, toasted pine nuts, nuts and, yeah, yeah. and um, beefy. Yeah, beefy. That's, really, uh, even though it's all vegetarian and vegan, yeah, I think yeah. beefy is the best best description. Yeah, of yeah. Right, so there we are. That's what we do. Oh, fantastic. Well, thanks anyway. Great, nice. Um, let me know when it goes. Yeah, yeah we'll do. You don't have to wear those clothes for the rest of the day. <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've got it. So did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was great. That I love getting a. Uh, Involved in you know, the, the, the people in North Wales who are so energetic and enthusiastic about what they do and really passionate. Unless you go out and find it, you don't hear about it. It's a few miles inland over over the bridge. Um, the mountains. It, somebody so passionate about growing mushrooms. I, I think, think it is that, it's that enthusiasm about good yeah. quality produce and it's right on our doorstep and we can eat it. It's inspiring. It's nice to know that there's uh, plenty of nutters out there who uh, love what on they the do. Same page, on the same page. On the same page as what we like to do, yeah. Um, and I'm just excited to cook it. Well, should we go and find a nice little spot? Yeah, let's do it. A little nook and cranny where we can uh, pull up and have a bit of dinner. Yeah, let's go. You're cooking though, yeah? After you. Oh, we're flapping on that.